Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to do a Unify 6 long range versus Unify 6 light video. I asked the community which video I should do next, and with about 300 votes, they all agreed to do the iPerf test and the speed test on both these APs. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon shop and I'll put it in the link below. So first thing, my speeds that I get incoming to the house is one gigabit up and one gigabit down. And both these access points are gonna be in roughly the same location in my office. If all you wanna know is the speed test and the iperf test, you could skip to the end and find it there. The first set of tests are all gonna be on the U6 light. So we'll start in this office, then make our way to the main floor and then the basement. We'll be doing the speed test and the iperf test. At the end, we'll look at a chart to see all the speeds in iperf test. But for now, I'm just gonna press go. And remember, this is the access point on auto. Okay, and our speed test for our U6 light in the office is 402 down and 396 up. All right, let's do the iPerf test. In the transmit mode, we're gonna start with is download with five streams for 30 seconds. And the download average was 401. Let's do the upload. And the upload average was 390. Now I'm gonna grab my GoPro and we'll go to the different levels of the house. All right, now we're on the main floor for the U6 light. Let's do the speed test. And we're getting 263 download and 198 upload. Let's move to the iPerf test. We'll start the iPerf test with the download in five streams and I'll press start. And our download average is 230 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the upload average is 158 megabits per second. Let's go downstairs and do the same test. Now we're in the basement. Let's start the speed test. All right, and our download was 52 down and 10.5 up. Now we're gonna go ahead and run the iPerf test. So this will be for the download iPerf. And our average was 48 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 35 megabits per second. All right, now we've seen the speed test and the iPerf test when the U6 light was set to auto, we're gonna go ahead and change the five gigahertz channel with the HG80. And how we do that, we click on our access point, go to the config wheel, and then go down to radios. Under radios, we're gonna change the channel width from HG40 to HG80. I'm gonna leave the channel still on auto and we'll press Q changes and apply. After this is done provisioning, we're gonna run through those exact same tests. Now the access point is provisioned. Let's check what the speed tests are on the U6 light in HE80. I'll press go. And as you can see, we got quite a bit of a speed boost. We have 632 down and 486 up. When it was just set to auto, we only had 401 down and 390 up. So let's go ahead and do an iPerf test. Now we're gonna start our download iPerf test. And our average is 599 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And our upload average was 517. Now we're gonna to go to each level of the house with the U6 light on HE80. Start the speed test on the main floor of the house with U6 light HE80. And the download speed was 344 and the upload was 204. Let's do the iPerf and we'll start with the download. And the average download was 331. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 187 megabits per second. Now we're in the basement. Let's run the speed test.
And we got 24.4 down and 24.3 up. Let's do the iPerf and we'll start with the download. And the average iPerf download was 54 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 30 megabits per second. Now we've gone through all the speed tests and the iPerf tests for the U6 Lite, we need to do the exact same test with the U6 LR. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disable the U6 Lite, enable the U6 LR, and we're gonna start the test with everything set to auto. Our U6 long range has now provisioned, let's run a speed test. Okay, our download speed was 391 megabits per second down and 163 up. Let's do the iPerf test. So we'll start with our download. And our download was 394. Let's do our upload. And our upload average was 166. So let's move to the main floor and do the same test. Now we're at the main floor with the U6 LR. Let's do the speed test. Okay, we're getting 306 download and 211 up. Let's do the iPerf test. All right, let's run the download. The average download was 281 megabits per second. Let's do the upload. And the average upload is 138 megabits per second. Now we're in the basement. Let's run the speed test. And we're getting 113 download and 63 upload. Let's do the iPerf. And we're going to start with the download. And the average download is 83 megabits per second. Now let's start the upload. And the average upload is 60 megabits per second. We finished with the U6 long range auto test. Now we're going to put it to HE80. So we'll click on our U6 LR, go to the config wheel, scroll down to radios. And then under the five gigahertz band, we're going to change the channel width to HE80, Q changes, and then apply and run these same tests again. Now the U6 LR channel width is set to HE80. Let's run our speed test. And the download speed is 626 down and 490 up. Let's go ahead and run our iPerf test. We'll start with the download. And the average download was 745. Let's do the upload. And the average upload was 456. Now we're on the main floor with the U6 LR in HE80 channel width. Let's do the speed test. And we're getting 547 down and 315 up. Let's do the iPerf and we'll do the download first. And the average download was 506. Let's do the upload. and the average upload was 335 megabits per second. Now we're in the basement, let's run the speed test. And we're getting 204 download and 55 upload. Now we're gonna run the download iPerf test. And our average download was 318, let's do the upload. and the average upload was 82 megabits per second. Now that the speed test and the iPerf test are done, let's look at some of the results. The Unify 6 LR on the download speeds was 391 megabits per second and 163 upload. On the U6 Lite, we had 401 download and 390 upload. So it was quite a bit more on the upload speed. When we were on the main floor and in the basement, the Unify 6 long range access point performed better than the Unify 6 Lite. Now let's take a look at the iPerf test. So once again, in the office, we could see that the Unify 6 Lite performed better than the Unify 6 LR. 
and then in the main floor in the basement the Unify 6 long range did better. Now let's take a look when we set the APs to HE80. So with the access point set to channel with HE80 and the 5 gigahertz, it was pretty much the same speeds within our office. Again, on the main floor in the basement, the Unify 6 long range outperformed the Unify 6 Lite. Now we'll take a look at the iPerf tests. And with the iPerf test in each section of the house, the office, the main floor and the basement, the Unify 6 long range outperformed the Unify 6 Lite. It comes as no surprise that the Unify 6 LR would outperform the Unify 6 Lite as it is a more powerful access point. I may compare the Unify 6 long range to a Nano HD as they have similar hardware in them. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.